Cheers, mate. How's it going? Got something nice. As uh, so this engine case is cracked, here, 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 all the way. Explain another video why this most probably happened. We needed an exchange engine case, and what we found is something rare. We still got a rotary valve LML case, but not only this. It is also one with electric stored. That's quite rare. Just a quick review. How is that LML case? In general, what I do like is that the sealing surfaces at the LML cases are better than Piaggio from 2001 on. They are properly machined. Yes, of course, the edges are rough. Yes. Of course, the cast here is also rougher, but who gives a shit? No one does. What I checked before I decided to use this engine case is dummy bearings in the crank, and if we do have here the 0.05 millimeter rotary valve tolerance provided, you then close the engine and measure it here with the gouge. Yes. 0.05 are provided, so this rotary valve will work fine. The next thing that was to be checked, I do not have the tools to measure the seat of the bearings, so I just put the bearings in, and yes, they are fine. You know, there are some cases out there from a specific brand where bearings get loose, where the seats do not have the right size, not so with this LML case, it is fine. All bearings where do we put in as we are used to it everything looks fine just rounding some edges and just lift with the outside if it's a little bit more rough who cares no one does I'm gonna put in more pictures at the end of the video just wanted to give you a quick update LML cases are good they are better than Piaggio in my experience in my opinion Cheers, guys Let's get it on and close it. Cheers. Engine closed now. Were there any difficulties? Minor ones. These two screws did not fit without a knock of a hammer. So here some material needed to be removed or not, or just use a hammer. And and starter side. That's the old engine half. This hole was a little bit too small that this white plug from the stutter cables uh, did fit in so I used a miller, widened it a little bit and then I could put this plug and the cables through. That was it. Everything else with this engine case was perfectly fine. Especially the ceiling surfaces are nicely machined as we are used to it for many decades and uh, 0.05 rotary valve tolerance was provided. This is, by the way, the very first thing you have to check with every new engine case, rotary engine case, no matter which brand. First, put the crank in you want to use and check if 0.05 is provided. If not, send it back. It will never work. It will work with original setup. It will work okay-ish with plug and play but not with the tuning or fine-tuning. Look up my guides regarding blowback and rotary valve tolerance. Very first thing to check. Cheers guys. See ya. <laughs> well then just to sound like the engine Two more interesting facts about the LML case. This spot here is part of the cast, so the shape. You do not have to machine it extra. And also this part here that the spring for the brake pads do not stripe. Also part of the cast because we do have a certain high-end engine, the BFA, where this is machined, but wrongly, and this is not machined at all, because why would you for 5,000 euros? Oh no, it's A2. 
8,200 in total. And the other thing is the spot of the primary here so that the primary, the gears, do not stripe here. The engine case, that's also part of the cast. It is possible to include the correct shape distances already into the cast if you want to do so. Cheers guys.